In this video, we're going to continue working through some limits at infinity. So we want to figure out, first of all, what case do we have? So we're comparing the degree of the top to the degree of the bottom. So what's the degree of the numerator for this one? We have x to the fifth minus 3x squared. The degree means the highest power of x, which is 5 in the top, and in the bottom, it's 4. So we have what case here? Worst case, we have top heavy. Bottom heavy is the best. The answer is always zero. This one's top heavy, though. So we're going to divide every single term by x to the highest power in the denominator. So I'm going to take the x to the fifth and divide it by the highest power of x in the denominator is x to the fourth. Minus 3x squared. x to the highest power in the denominator is x to the fourth. In the bottom, we have x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth. And then plus 1 over x to the fourth. Every single term gets divided by x to the highest power in the denominator. And then we can simplify what's left over and cross out anything bottom heavy because it's just going to zero anyway. So in the top, we have x to the fifth divided by x to the fourth. That's just going to be x. And in the next term, we have minus 3x squared over x to the fourth. That's going to go to zero when x is going to negative infinity. There's not enough to go around. That term just goes away. Bottom heavy goes to zero. x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth is one. And then if you had one of something and you divide it by negative infinity to the fourth, you don't have enough for everything. So we end up with x divided by one and we're gonna plug in negative infinity to that. Negative infinity divided by one. Our final answer is negative infinity. See if you can try the next one. See what case it is. If you can get it, try the ones after. Feel free to pause the video and come back. We're first going to compare degrees. Degree of the top is 3. Highest power of x in the bottom is just a regular x, so it's to the first power. Another top-heavy example. We need to figure out what to divide every single term by then. It's always x to the highest power in the denominator. So for this one, it's just a regular x. We're going to do x cubed divided by x plus 4 divided by x. We have 2x divided by x plus 1 over x. Where do we go from here? We want to simplify what we have and cross out all bottom heavy terms. So in the top, x cubed divided by x is x squared. And 4 over x is going to go to 0. It's bottom heavy. Then we have 2x divided by x, which is 2, and 1 over x goes to 0. It's bottom heavy. Now see if you can plug into this. You're plugging in negative infinity, because that's what the limit is going to. You're going to square it and then divide it by 2. What's your final answer going to be? It's top heavy, so it's either infinity or negative infinity. What is it for this one? Well, negative infinity squared, negative infinity times negative infinity is going to be positive infinity, divided by 2, is going to stay up at positive infinity. Any negative number squared is going to make it positive. All right, so we just did a limit as x goes to negative infinity, and then the answer was negative infinity. This one, the x went to negative infinity, and the answer was positive infinity. So there's not a pattern where, oh, if you're plugging in and it's going to negative infinity, the answer is automatically this or that. You always have to divide by the highest power of x in the denominator and um, see which infinity you get. The next one, the degree of the top, degree of the bottom, see if you can see what case you have. The degree of the top is 2. The highest power of x in the bottom is 4. So what case do we have? 2 and 4, bottom heavy. Bottom heavy is the best. The answer is always 0. You're dividing something small by something huge. You don't have enough to go around. And then this last one here, what are the degrees of each? See if you can figure out the case, and then maybe even the final answer. So highest power of x in the top is 2. We have an x squared. In the bottom, it's also 2. There's an x squared. It's the highest power of x. So we have equal. To find the answer, we need to take the ratio of leading coefficients. Take the numbers next to x to the highest power. In the top, we have negative 2. In the bottom, we have 3. Remember to take the signs with you. 
So we did top heavy, the hardest one. The answer is infinity or negative infinity. You just have to do work to find it. Bottom heavy is the best. The answer is always zero. Equal, take the ratio of leading coefficients. Make a fraction out of the numbers in front of x, the highest power.